The East is red, according to an old communist anthem. A Beijing dawn to greet Prince William. Once this bridge was for the emperor only. Now the Forbidden City is a museum for the Chinese people and a British prince. And where did all the um, materials come from? William as tourist here is one of the ironies of history. It was the British Empire whose gunboats humiliated China's last dynasty and helped drive them from this palace. With Prince William's visit, Britain and China hope to put their imperial troubles behind them and to focus firmly on a future based on shared business interests. William, how's your Chinese coming on? <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Ni hao. As far as I got as well. But someone's missing from this picture. Kate's pregnancy stopped her from coming. But here at Beijing's Waxworks, they're very much a couple. He looks very British. He's handsome. But he's not as handsome as Beckham. I'm excited about the visit, especially if I can see Kate. Oh, she's not coming. But I'm still happy. The Queen's in here, but no Prince Charles. He once described China's leaders as appalling old waxworks. Good morning, Welcome to China. But President Xi showed no sign of bearing a grudge when he welcomed William. The Prince and the President talked about football and the illegal trade in wildlife. But the main theme of the visit is promoting brand Britain. In China's Year of the Sheep, a TV hero drafted in to help, with a last touch-up from the prince. <laughs> now, all eyes forward, focused on the world's biggest market. Carrie Gracie, BBC News, Beijing.